So how do psychedelics affect your hypothalamus? Let's talk about it. Psychedelic drugs are gaining favor as potential psychological therapies, and psychedelics do target your hypothalamus, which affects your neuroendocrine system, influencing what's both happening in your brain and your body. The effect of psychedelic-assisted therapies for mood disorders and addiction, as well as treatment for cluster headaches, has demonstrated promising results, and the beneficial effects appear to persist well after the limited exposure to the psychedelics. Psychedelic drugs that are used for psychiatric disorders include psilocybin, LSD, and MDMA, or ecstasy. Psychedelics are utilized to help treat mental health disorders in close guidance with a psychiatrist or a psychotherapist. And highly controlled studies on major depression show dramatic results with over two-thirds of participants reporting a 50% reduction in their symptoms and half went into remission. But there are risks. In rare incidences, psychedelics can induce a psychotic reaction, especially in people with a family history of psychosis, and schizophrenics are particularly vulnerable to psychotic reactions from the use of psychedelics. Psychedelics bind on receptor sites that affect serotonin metabolism, which can alter your senses and consciousness. And while it's not understood how psychedelics work, three possible effects are hypothesized. Psychedelics induce a number of immediate genes in various regions of the brain, especially the hypothalamus. Psychedelics produce long-lasting effects through epigenic mechanisms, changing the way genes function. And psychedelics can have psychotherapeutic effects, acting as meaning response magnifiers. It's your hypothalamus that produces neuropeptides and regulates your endocrine system to control mood and memory. Psychedelics induce overproduction of various hypothalamic-controlled hormones, oxytocin, prolactin, ACTH, and cortisol. And the HPA access is also affected by psychedelic use. Depressed people tend to have an HPA access abnormalities with an elevation of baseline cortisol and an abnormal dexamethasone suppression test, where people with PTSD have lower baseline cortisol levels and a greater cortisol suppression after dexamethasone. Psychedelics can affect the hypothalamus regulation of the pineal production of melatonin, which has significant roles in affective disorder. Psychedelics delay melatonin production, postponing REM sleep onset. And it's interesting that psychedelics and melatonin have opposing effects on the body. Psychedelics induce arterial hypertension, hyperthermia, anorexia, and activate the HPA axis, where melatonin induces arterial hypotension, hypothermia, hyperphagia, which means overeating, and suppresses the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Research shows that psilocybin reduces blood flow to the hypothalamus, while MDMA alters the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, suppressing GnRH and testosterone. Now, if you have any questions regarding psychedelics and your hypothalamus, please join me in our hormone support group. You can get access by signing up for my free hormone reboot training. It is really important that you have a healthy hypothalamus if you are considering using psychedelics in a guided experience with a psychotherapist. I've had patients use psilocybin. The ones who were supporting their hypothalamus with Genesis Gold had much more therapeutic experiences without the negative effects on their hormonal balance. If you use psychedelics without optimizing your hypothalamus function, you can have long-lasting endocrine effects, including adrenal, thyroid, and sex steroid imbalances. I'll see you in the next video.